Hey guys, Coinzig. I just want to do a quick update video to my uh, Bitcoin warning uh, prior video before I go to bed here. So looking at the rect here, this is four hours. Bitcoin's not even there really on the... Okay, so shorts are getting wrecked right now. Let's go 12 hours. That was a while ago. Yeah, okay. So look at that. So the longs got wrecked almost 100 million, 90.1 million almost. Uh, what did they have in 24 hours? Okay. So 111 million wrecked in longs for Bitcoin in the last 24 hours, 20 million in shorts, and 530 million total in the crypto market. In the last four hours, though, the shorts have been taking it a bit, um, but not much. That's not, that's not that much. Um, the longs don't have much either right now. So, and I'll show you why. Bitcoin's kind of been just in this no man's land right here. So this is the um, the heat map, liquidation heat map from CoinGlass. So this is where I saw earlier there was a huge chunk of yellow going this way, which almost certainly, I mean, with everything going on, it was gonna that was getting targeted, uh, intentionally targeted matchmakers, exchanges, I don't know, whales. A lot of people can make money on leverage trades and, and derivatives and whatnot by taking these guys out. So I did this, I'll, I'll go to another chart in a minute, but this is an interesting little area right here, all the way down to 63K probably, maybe even 62 and a half. Th this is just gonna keep coming down. People just keep putting in new leverage for longs because these are longs right here. Um, anything below is a long, anything above is a short, because that's when you get liquidated. If it goes up and you're short, you get liquidated. If you bet on the price going up and it goes down, which is a long, you get liquidated when it goes down. Um, so anyway, but this is a lot bigger right here, this chunk, all the way up to really 72, pretty close to 72. I mean, you, you guys can see the count here, six, seven, eight, you know, what was that 15 21 yeah many millions going up here so might knock that out i mean i could still see some of this get knocked out and then shooting up it could happen in a day might not happen at all who knows macro factors too could come into play stock market goes up bitcoin's going to go up potentially if it goes down bitcoin goes down so here, here it is on TradingView, my my beautiful chart here. I don't really do TA, so I, uh, it's not it's not for me. But this is essentially where that liquidation zone was originally, right here, and we pushed right through it. This is a thirty hour chart. Let me zoom in a little bit. Thirty hour, thirty minute chart. So this is what's coming down earlier. I think I called it either over here or over here. I can't remember, but I did say we were going to punch through this into 65 range, trying to help you guys if you were leveraged and we punched down. Um, this is where the new leverage starts really right, probably there at 64 or seven or so, but um, there's definitely quite a bit right here going down. It's probably below 63 at this point too. I'll show you one other thing in a minute. And this is that undecided zone where nothing really happens and we've kind of been in there sort of for most of the day. So, um, Right here, about 69-ish is really when it starts to get warm. As you guys can see, it lines up right here with these tops. Took out a bunch of shorts probably right there earlier in the day. Um, but it gets, it gets, there's a lot right here. So we could, we could see the price bouncing up to 70K again pretty soon. Um, you never know, it's Bitcoin though. I do wanna show you one last thing here. Check this out. So this is a 24 hour. We'll back out slow, slowly. This is three day. So you can really see these liquidation points right here, right? Or leverage, whatever you wanna call it. So one week. Okay, so you can see how we knocked it out, right? And it gets, it's, let me pull my chart down. How when you knock it out, it's just clear because we've, they're gone. You've, you've reset those, they're, they have to, people have to put new ones in now and they, they're not. Uh, not not right away anyway. So that's why some of these are up here still and they're so high or so low. But here's the interesting one. Yep, 
Yeah. See that? That's a lot. Did you see that number there? 1.2 billion? 1.1 billion? 1.21 billion? That's a little bit less. A little bit less over here. It's gone down a bit, but that was pretty big. So I don't know if these are getting closed out or they got hit or they shouldn't have been hit there, but I'm not sure. However, I, I'm guessing people are closing, closing their trades, but I don't know. But that does exist, and that's around 50K all the way down to 47, really to 46. No, 47, we'll call it. Doesn't mean we have to hit it just because it's there. Doesn't mean anything, but I'm just saying it's there. So if we get down that low, be, be heads up. Could wick down there real quick, knock them out, and then shoot back up. Typically how it goes. Alts won't like that though. Bitcoin will be fine, but alts will get alts will get hurt pretty bad. Alts are probably gonna get hurt pretty bad in the next well month or so anyway. I shouldn't say that. they just won't perform as well as Bitcoin. But that's pretty standard. So anyway, like I mean you guys can see this these don't last, they just get blasted usually. So this the stuff's available to everybody. So it's <laughs> you're playing a rig game, guys, if you're in, in leverage. You can win, but just know the, the house usually wins. So that's all I got for you guys. It was a little bit longer than I, I wanted. So still pretty extremely positive on Bitcoin. So uh, we'll see what it does tomorrow. I'm curious. doesn't really bother me either way, but we'll find out. Hopefully you guys aren't leveraged. All right. If you guys can hit the big thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow.